Hello, welcome you to a new video on my YouTube channel. Today I am at home on the house of Louis. Uh, he lives in Tenerife South. This is a really pretty reef tank. And um, we make a small interview with him. And I will ask him around about 8 to 10 questions. And uh, he's, he responds. And I hope you enjoy my new video. And uh, give me a like. And feel free to make some comments. Okay? See you again. Bye. Uh, Louis, I have some question about your pretty reef tank, and um, this time it's in English. I have to do more videos in English. So my question is, um, what for size is the, the glass bottom tank? Well, the main tank is about 440 liters, uh -huh. um, and the sump below is about 80 liters, I think. Um, water volume overall is about 400, 420, 420. in the rocks and the sand, okay. and got here quite a big overflow yeah. as well. This is I like the overflow going. All your super super on the top is really clean. Looks every time really clean. It's a cool system. Um, how many costs do you have a month with your tank? Was nearly five? We say around 500 liters, 450, 500 liters um, a month. What do you think? How much you spend in everything? I try and keep it low, um, maybe 15, 20 euros about the electric. Um, mm -hmm. I mix my own balling, so I get the aquaforest powders, mm -hmm. mixing the elements. Um, the most of what you use of the products from aquaforest? Yeah, mm -hmm. I like aquaforest. Yeah. It's, it's easy to get all of them over here. Yeah. Um, and they've got pretty much everything you need, really. Around 20 euros. 20, 15, 20. 50, 20 euros. Yeah. yeah. And um, how long are you making? How you? How long you have been in this hobby? Um, so when you started? Twenty seventeen, I think I started January or February. So around about three, three years. and a half years. Three and a half years. Yeah, it's my second aquarium. Oh, okay. Before we had a two hundred and fifty liter mm -hmm. front aquarium. It was okay, but there did something a bit bigger. You can't see it, but there is the other tank. And in the children's room, uh, other tank. Um, how um, you know you're making balling, no balling? Yes, it's aqua forest. Yeah. And how is you consuming a day? Um, at the moment, I dose 320 mil of the calcium, magnesium, and the KH buffer. Mm. Um, it's a lot. Yeah, a couple of months ago, I was on 275. Mm -hmm. um, but with all the the SPS, the growing or the Acropora. Yeah, it, it dropped the last couple of months, so I've had to up it. Um, and you think about to make a maybe it was a reactor? Definitely time for a reactor. Um, yeah. I just need to make some space really in the sump. Mm. That's oh, that's yeah. the main consideration because the tank itself is quite low. The stand isn't particularly big. Okay. Are you not the hmm. you see it outside, please. Um, you. You're feeding your fish, of course. How, how often a day are you feeding your fish? Um, twice a day. I used to do just one time, but then I got the um, Anthias. Yeah. Um, and to keep them happy, I try and do it at least twice a day. So, Mysis, krill, krill. Uh, lots of dry foods as well. I quite oh, like yeah. dry foods. But frozen and dry food? Frozen and I thaw it out. Obviously, just drops them in. Um, and the corals, you're feeding your corals? Um, once or twice a week. Oh, okay. um, what are you using from other forests? Well, yeah, I've seen it. Uh, I have some reef fruits oh, okay. I use and the aquaforest LPS uh, coral food mm -hmm. um, um, and some of the easy reef LPS foods as well. Oh. I've tried. They're all, all good. So, the biggest problem 
what you had on your tank? Um, for me, I've had two main problems. Um, the first would be the green pasta um, ah yeah. I had a big problem with the. It's growing too much now. Well, it grows yeah. too much, but there's a um, they have pollen bailout. So I think when the conditions might not be particularly well for them, they like to bail out their pol polyps. And I was finding them here, there, everywhere. Was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I've got it down to you two little this? mini colonies now that I can't quite get to. I'd have to I'd have to take the rock structure apart to okay. to get them out. So for now, I'm, I'm quite happy. Um, and then my other more recent problem I've had is vermited snails um, and they've done quite a lot of damage to some of my acropora colonies. Uh -huh. um, I've spent maybe five, six hours just with coral snips, snipping them all out. Um, this Melanaris ras, he'll eat them but only once I've cracked open the shell. But whenever I put my hand in the tank he's always there. Yeah, yeah, why well, waiting for the yeah, yeah. worms to come out. So. Yeah, I spent a good five, six hours cracking most of them open, but um, as soon as I got rid of them, I saw the, the health and the acropores start bouncing back, they started growing again, but there was two or three months where, yeah, they did, they did quite a lot of damage. But I can see in your tank, you like acropores and LPS, both, you like both, you like every, you have a soft covers inside, you like the, yeah. and not only SPS tank, no? For no, you, you, you like, mixed. yeah, mixed tank is, uh, I, I, I as most people do. Don't. And the psoas, you like the psoas too, no? Yes. Yeah, so I've got some nice cells. Okay. Um, how much or how many times you check your water parameters? Okay. Um, I would check the alkalinity two to three times a week. Ah, okay. um, calcium, I usually do at the weekends on a, a Saturday morning. So one time a week, minimum? Minimum salinity, um, calcium. Um, yeah, the weekends, magnesium as well, and then alkalinity two to three times a week. Okay. Okay, so. We check it a little bit nearly your reef tank. We see what uh, what is new, what is the coral new, what is the coral what he growing a lot, and I will ask you. We, we turn around. Okay, we start here on the left side. So here on this uh, position, ah, I didn't ask you. What is your favorite fish on your tank? Um, I would say the Melanaris ras. Yeah. Rats you make the biggest job. <laughs> yeah. This one is there. Yeah, I've had him a while now. Yeah, he is really nice. You had it from really small, no? Yeah, it was um, five or six centimeters. Yeah. And it's little, really, now it's about 12? No, it's at least 10. 12, 10, 12 yeah. centimeters, yeah. At least. But he's very not so nervous. He looks really, really, really good. The yellow tank, how long do you have them? Three years of the yellow tank. Really? Ah, yeah. from from the beginning. Yeah, one of my first fish. It's not so big. It's this was my first fish. Ah, my yeah. first tank about three and a half years ago. Dimitiatos now. That's one. Cleaning so, cleaning the brother now. You, you wouldn't believe this, but he's actually been on the floor five times. Jumping. Jumped out five times when I've been here, so after a couple of times, I put the net on. Ah, <laughs> um, oh, yeah, you used the net, yeah. Honestly, five oh, times yeah. he's jumped out of the tank. Yeah. So, get yourselves um, a cover. Yeah. Important. You want to keep all your fish. This is one of my favorite fish, Decora, no? This is so nice. This is really nice, really nice fish. It's the last fish I put in there. Ah, I didn't ask you. What is your level on phosphate? What is your le level on phosphate? Um, all on the Hannah checker. 
mm-hmm. comes out as zero. Zero. But okay. um, if we do the auto phosphate check, then yeah, it's, it's a little higher, zero point zero one. Zero point zero. zero. 15 sometimes. So very low. Can say still, still it. very low, but... And nitrate? How is the nitrate level? Zero. Zero. Yeah. Okay. Calcium Always level? Um, I try and keep the calcium at 425, 430. Mm-hmm. Anytime it deviates, I, I change the ball and change the dose ball. Magnesium level? Magnesium, 13. Okay, 1,300. Maybe I touch on the lower side, I, I seem to have to dose that quite a lot. I don't know if it's... Using the natural seawater here. Okay. Potentially. Yeah, possibly. The Antias uh, are fi- five inside now? Yeah. You, for you, is a really complicated fish or? I don't have too many difficulties with them. Um, I just try and keep up keep up with the feeding. Um, the male doesn't seem to bully the females too much. Um, it's so not, I've, not, I've not seen a problem with them. How long time you have them now inside? 14 months, 15 months. Okay, it's not so big, it's really small, eh? Small, small. Yeah, but that's in... My tech was in really in a half year, was much bigger. Yeah. Probably much I, I tried to pick them up all as so small as possible. I got them at the same time, all five of them. And um, how long time you have to light on? How many hours? How many hours? Uh, the LEDs have two hydro 26s, they come on at 12. Uh-huh. Ramp up during the day. Um, and then back down again till 12 at night. And then I have the eight T5 bulbs, they come on at two o'clock and they go off at 10 30. So the full time is 12, so 12 hours, 12 hours or full o'clock. potential, about eight and a half hours for the T5s on. That's a lot of light. So you like the combination from hybrid LED best and T5 best? Yes. And if I could, I'd try and stick on a, a metal highlight as well. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. On this tank is a metal highlight. Yeah, twenty thousand Kelvin, no? It's there. Twenty. Okay, we turn around here. So, you say uh, this size is for you the nicest size on the tank? Yeah, I think so. The scape sort of faces this way a little bit. Some of the bigger colonies, back up all around here. Nice. How many often you have to cut your corals? Or what is. Um, I, I was going to say never. <laughs> I try not to. Um, I have the Montipora digitatus, like to grow into each other quite a lot. You can see the, the red there is actually starting to overgrow with this purple. Ah, yeah. So I may have to cut that purple out and move it somewhere else before it gets completely overgrown. Um, I've had to chop up that milker about six weeks ago. It was too big. It was double the size of that at least. Um, mm. It was taking up too much, too much space. You're growing crazy now. Mm. What is he on in this size? On this side on the tank, what is here for you the favorite coral here? It's difficult. The moment moment have, I like this. It's purple. Acapora we have there. Yeah, yeah. Acapora action art there. Yeah. Really nice. It's to the right. Echinata is a really nice color. That's true. Yeah. And you think to make the tank one day bigger, like 1,000 liter, or you think this is enough? I think this is a for now. It's a good size. It's good size. Yeah. You can handle good. You can work on this good. The, the cost yeah. is not so high. No, I, I certainly wouldn't get a deeper tank. You know, you need to get a tank where you can reach the bottom. Yeah. Keep on top of everything. I do water changes from the sea. So yeah, here the Atlantic. You use Atlantic water. No? Yeah. How time? How many times you change your water? Um, bi weekly, so every two weeks. How many liters? I usually get um, about eighty liters. Eighty liters. So, so I, I fifteen pounds and around us. I change fifteen twenty percent of the water um, every couple of weeks. So and you see different when you make a change. You see the calls. Uh, the polyps are more out. Or so not the LPS. You see the LPS are. Yeah. Yeah. The SPS 
So you are a friend from Water Change? Yeah, I think it's important. You can say, yeah. And we can't get better than the, the sea itself. Yeah, exactly. That's nice, really nice. A lot of, you have one, one pump inside there. Then the other one is uh, Fortech and anymore. Ah, oh, and the, the, the oh, return, the return pump. And that's all, no? Not so many. No, no. That's okay. They're the on, they're all on full. Yeah, but only the three pumps. How many fish inside there? You know, um, there's 16, 16 fish in there. The Sixteen moment. fish. There's a goby in there hiding somewhere. Yeah, as well. Oh, it looks really. Um, the fish are not looks really nervous. No. This is cool. Really, really cool. Okay, let we let me check the the um, zoom. This is the zoom. Okay. So you use one skimmer. What is it for skimmer? Um, it's a Bubble Magus 7. Bubble 7. There is inside of this, is what's some, inside there? Um, the reactor has got some phosphate miners from Aqua Forest. Ah, okay. Um, we've got the Eheim 5000 return pump. Mm -hmm. And at the moment, which usually wouldn't be in there, so it looks a little messier, is a seat chain which goes into my chiller. Um, because in the summer, it's it was yeah, last week was really hot here. It was crazy. Yeah, so it, it tends to come on about three in the afternoon till about eight o'clock to keep the tank a bit cooler. But um, and this as soon as the temperature dips, I'm going to take it out because. But normally, your temperature was a 28, 27 around. I this keep it about 27.5. Mm -hmm. I do keep it a little bit warmer. And this black block, what is this? Uh, this is the battery backup for the water. Very important. Very important. It a few times. Yeah, here in Tenerife, we have sometimes the light going away, and maybe in six or eight or ten hours. Eight, nine hours last time. Yeah. And I like it, you know, so it's quite simple. There's some filter wall, um, so the two overflows yeah. go into the wall there, which I change um, maybe every three, four days. Skimmer, reactor, and the return pump. And then the ATU there on the left with fresh water. Yeah, and the front we can open too, it's true, yeah? yeah. There's your boiling system. It's about five litres for magnesium, calcium, and KH. So when you have 320, so you use it 10 days, you, every two weeks you have to change it, no? Lucia, this is your tank, no? Show me a little bit of your fishy. What's your favorite fish in your tank? This one. What's the name of this fishy? Mini. Mini? Okay. Yeah, I, you have a small shrimp inside, no? Yeah. There's a mini shrimp. What's the name of the shrimp? Uh, I don't know what name yet. You don't know? Okay.